was born by the river in a little tent and all oh, just like that river I've been running ever since it's been a long long time coming and I know a change is gonna come oh yes it is it's been too hard living but I'm afraid to die I don't know what's up there beyond the skies it's been a long 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 time coming and I know a change is gonna come that's right, y'all. I'm Kim Poole. Kim Poole live here on Art McCoy's University of Common Sense, 1490, the People's Station of Cleveland. Putting it down live. Kim Poole music with the super lashes. Make sure you check us out and make sure you stay tuned. www.kimpoolmusic.com. That's K-I-M-P-O-L-L-E music.com. See you at the top, baby. I think yes, I, I think I'd, I'd like to. I might as well go on and break down one of the uh, elections. Uh, uh, we'll start with the city of Cleveland. Uh, we have uh, Zachary, uh, Councilman Zachary, uh, and we have uh, Mayor uh, Frank Jackson. It's, yes, it's election yes, time sir. coming right around the corner, and so uh, on. A breakdown of that. Uh, it's very simple to me. Uh, I think personally that Zach Reed uh, started too late. Uh, he, he, the reason I say that is because uh, the election of two candidates, two black candidates, uh, such as uh, both of them, um, uh, uh, Zach Reed and, and uh, Jackson, uh, they compare that election somewhat to uh, the election of when Mike White was running off against George Ford. And everybody thought that George Forbes was a shoe-in, but what happened, uh, my, man, my phone is giving a tornado warning. You, think, sure we, you, think, you think we can finish this show? I'm getting one now. It's in this area. Before we was interrupted by this important wiser, uh, weather advisory that I think that Zach Reed, uh, he could have, uh, uh, still can upset Mary Jackson, but I just, in my opinion, he started too late. Uh, to upset an incumbent like that, uh, you got to start out the gate uh, real early, and I think that he waited till all the other, most of the other candidates had uh, declared that they were in, and then yes. he, he jumped in the race, and so so uh, that's that's going to really. Hey, do, do some of that, man. That weather advisory keep jumping on my phone, gotcha. and, and I don't understand why. Uh, but uh, at the same time, at the same time, I think he started too late. I got my thought process together, uh, even with, uh, with the storm. I think that he started too late, and it will be a problem for him. And also, I think that uh, the fact that uh, in a sense, he kind of might have uh, sold himself out to the devil. No, I shouldn't say the devil. That's, that's the wrong word to say. Uh, uh, what I want to say is, is, is not the devil, but I think uh, he might have uh, sold himself out to the CPPA and Loomis. That's what I meant to say. And uh, y'all forgive me. I strike that word devil. And uh, because I've noticed in, in a lot of... Uh, previous elections, uh, from Lancy to uh, several others, I don't know if it was Patman, or, but uh, several others, that the people, that the uh, candidate, that the CPPA, the uh, uh, Police Patrolman Association, endorsed, uh, they always uh, came in second. That's and, right. and you can't win uh, coming in second. So uh, I know why uh, Zach Reed would take on uh, and uh, the endorsement of uh, the Patrolman Association is because uh, he thinks that that can help him uh, in the West Side 
dealing with the white vote. And maybe it can, or maybe it can't, but uh, so far, uh, like Ken Lancey found out that the CPPA, uh, 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 the union weren't able to to turn out the vote like one might think to turn it out. Boy, they're jumping off everywhere, aren't they? I tell you, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, I don't know how to get it. I don't know how to deal with it. So, uh, so anyway, Police Patrolman Association. Do, do you help. think he focused too much on getting the white votes or the West Side votes and not really getting some of the black, black votes and black, you know, talking about black issues besides the safety first? I think he kind of was trying to get other votes and maybe assume that, oh, well, they'll vote for me because I'm black. Well, well, I, well, I understand, he, uh, I, I understand his, his strategy. Uh, he realized that in order to beat uh, Mayor Jackson, he has to have a strong West Side vote. And, and when you're talking about the West, strong West Side vote, mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, uh, that's a lot of the white vote. Mm -hmm. uh, so I understand his strategy, but in the past, that strategy hasn't worked because mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jackson has, has a strong uh, white vote support over there. You know, he, he, the way West Park look and some of those West Side uh, areas that he's concentrated mm -hmm. on, they're, they're all Jackson. West mm -hmm. Park and all that, they're, they're all Jackson. So it's going to be very interesting if, if he can pull it off well, like that. Before we go to break, I think we spoke earlier about this. In my opinion, he could have inverted the whole thing. He's trying to get the police on his side and different things. Whereas all the things that happened on May Mayor Frank Jackson's watch, the 137 shots to Mayor Rice, the Brelo verdict, uh, Zachary didn't really use that as ammunition for his uh, campaign, and I think what, that, what, that was a waste. What, what that, that, li listen, mm -hmm. that, that's what you call a straddle in the middle. Mm -hmm. if, if, how can he use mm -hmm. that and have the endorsement of the police? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Why, the, the people, the city is obviously upset about it, so joining the police, if anything, you're going to lose votes. Well, his strategy is say he'll gain votes. His strategist say, say... The votes he needs, he thinks he needs, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 right. that, that, that's his strategist. Mm -hmm. now, now, we'll see He's how... He's taking us for granted already. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah, yes, listen. Uh, we we got we got to take a break. We got to take... All of Cleveland and East Cleveland and all those places. How can only 7% of y'all vote? Mm. Get yeah, your... Get, sad, hey, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Get off okay. your uh, posteriors and go out and buy a vote, man. Listen, the people in, in, in South Africa, uh, apartheid... Man, they were standing all outside in the rain and whatever uh, uh, to vote. Uh, in the South where I was at, man, uh, uh, we got hung and lynched and all that because of voting. Get your, off your posterior. I don't want no excuses. Get off there and vote. But uh, uh, Anna, closing up my analyzation of Cleveland mirrors race, uh, listen, Frank Jackson is better than a snake charmer. You understand? I'm telling you the truth. Uh, he has... The, yeah, yeah, he had, all right, he had this city, he had this city hypnotized. You understand? I mean, let's look at it realistically. Uh, for the stuff that w has went down uh, on uh, Mayor Frank Jackson Watch, mm -hmm. and starting with the deterioration of the city, inner city. The inner city is in bad shape, and downtown is fantastic, and some parts of the west side is fantastic. That alone should uh, uh, be able to uh, unseat somebody along with what Melanated Media News were talking about, uh, uh, 137 shots and Tamir Rice and all this. You, you know, it, but it's amazing. That's why I call him the snake charmer because, man, look, mm -hmm. in spite of all of this, in, in spite of all this, man, I just think that Frank Jackson, uh, I just think that Zachary started too late. Yes. Uh, uh, his, endor his endorsement uh, by Loomis and crew, I just think that that's going to be a little bit too much to overcome. Uh, I'm not making a prediction, but you all uh, understand my true feeling. Now, you all that, that, uh, that feel otherwise, there's one way you can change it. Get out there and vote and, and, and make uh, the statements that I say are not true. Mr. Uh, McCoy, actually... From my recent experience, I went to see, thanks to Mr. Porter letting me know, Frank Jackson speak. You know, he's doing a beauty salon and barbershop tour. So we recorded him. It's on the channel. It's about an hour and a half. He talked about everything. 
And what I learned in the speech is that you and him have the same mindset. As much as you're calling him the snake charmer, you and him have a lot, lot of similarities in the mindset. And I'll tell you the main thing. It seemed like what he was trying to do was he was talk, he talked a lot about generational wealth and doing for self. You talked a lot about that on this show, correct? Yes, sir. So he was basically saying that you want me and the government to do this, but what are y'all going to do for yourselves? In a nutshell, <laughs> that's what he was saying. He was saying, uh, I'm in a beauty salon. I went to a beauty salon on Harvard and... All the stuff said made in China. We don't make anything. This, these are the words of Frank. Jackson. Okay, but but I, I'm not I'm not getting. I'm, it's just, that's the same okay, stuff. You, I, I'm not saying no, it's no, good no, or no, bad. No 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 no, no 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 no. When you I, talked I, about LeBron James I, I, yeah, and yeah, different yeah, things, but I but I disagree mm -hmm. to the point of mm -hmm. uh, if if you are a mayor mm -hmm. and you've been a mayor for twelve years, now you want to be uh, uh, a mayor for four more years, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, my mindset is one thing, but when you when when you, when you hold the 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 pulse of the money, when you hold the purse of the you money, his responsibility you is bigger than it, yours. Yeah, you understand. When you hold the purse of the money, mm -hmm. you understand, and and you continue to give it to uh, 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 the suburbanites and the people downtown and the and the community. Listen, I used to listen when Mayor Frank Jackson became mayor. He'll tell you this self. I was a key part of getting him in because he would say sick, uh, he's sick and boy, he was telling me to get uh, Jane Cameron uh, mm -hmm. because uh, the police department was so bad at that time, uh, nine or ten people had, had got shot and, and, and a lot of them killed, so he was telling me, uh, get her, get her, him and uh, uh, Arnold Pinckney, so, uh, so I was with Frank Jackson, mm -hmm. I helped oust Jane, uh, 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 Cameron. Cameron to get him in. And matter of fact, he used to come to my radio shows all the time. Oh. We were friends. We fell out when I fe uh, uh, when I found out that you understand he was not taking care of the inner city the way he was supposed to take care of it. And I started uh, criticizing him on it and talk. Said, "What you gonna do about the inner city?" Mm -hmm. And so he don't like criticism, uh, uh, and that's where we fell out. We, uh, that's where we disagreed. As far as the money, what he was saying to piggyback on the uh, money, he was saying that it's all about private investments. And he said, no matter how, he said there's some cities or some neighborhoods within Cleveland, no matter, and I could be, don't quote me on this, but watch the video. There's timestamps on what he talks about each subject. Okay, get to but the I'm point. Get to the point, man. What he says basically is no matter how bad some neighborhoods are, it doesn't matter how you invest in it. So I have to be clear because I'm okay, quoting somebody. All right, all right, all right I understand. So I got to be clear. I'm quoting I, I, I the mayor. I understand that, but, right. but, but uh, uh, you, you, what you're giving me is excuses, excuses. I'm, not, I'm 12, telling you what he 12, said. 12, 12 years I'm of, telling you what he said. Yeah, well, I don't want to hear 12 years of excuses. you telling me that downtown and the chandelier and all that, and you're telling me uh, uh, that's, that's, you, you're about to make me cuss, man. Because because it's excuses, excuses, excuses. If if if, if he wants to do something for the inner city uh, uh, to uplift us, you say he can do it. You understand whether he used his lackeys downtown, the corporate people, the same way the corporate people uh, he can get the corporate people together to to uplift. The, the parts of the city that he can get him to uplift, he can do the same thing for the inner city. I don't well, buy it. Well, one, one of the, in relation to that last thing I say, one of the two questions I asked him was, he released his, the youth prevention thing, that 36-page thing, and he said it's um, extended recreation hours and different summer youth programs. But I said, because I worked for one of the summer youth programs years ago, I said in these programs generally you don't see at-risk youth. Like the people, if you're trying to uh, prevent crime, the people that are in these programs aren't really committing the crimes. And he didn't really have an answer for that as far as um, how to really target at-risk youth from preventing the crimes. So that was one of the things I think you're going to talk about how to help the inner city. He talked about like if somebody, if a youth or something is on parole or a younger daughter's on parole, there's a program. But as far as preventing 
the actual from so 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 what 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 you're telling me what you're giving me is 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 a is, what you're giving me is, is a synopsis mm -hmm. of a politician uh, a plan right before election that's what you're giving me mm -hmm. that's what you're well, giving me well this was me. going on during the summer well, I, I, but, but, but what you give away it, it wasn't you running during the summer yeah. What you're giving me is is a synopsis of a politician's uh, plan right before the election. You understand? Uh, the same darn plan uh, that he's been given, and when it comes time after he's elected, uh, uh, will crime the crime rate train. My personal opinion is this. Him, nor Zach Reed, nor him has really came up with a comprehensive plan to stop crime in our community. And personally, I don't think they know, I don't think they're willing to come up with a plan. I think that the plan they're coming up with is a plan uh, that's politically expedient for you all to listen to and vote for. Well, that's why that. I asked him that question in the first place, and he didn't really give me a good answer. All, all right, who, who's my folks? So, so you, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like political mom and jumbo. I, I live it. Who's on the phone? All my phone. All right, Al Sam. Yeah. I'm not comfortable with you saying that um, Mayor Frank Jackson is a snake oil salesman because I'm taking some things into consideration that I'm going to keep you aware snake, of. Snake charmer. One. Snake charmer. Huh? Not snake oil salesman. Snake charmer. You know what snake, snake charmer. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know what that is, right? I do. All right, then. I listen to you regularly. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> talk, talk, talk to me. Come on, man. The, um, hey, the hey, hey, area. hey, hey. You know what? I'm going to let you talk all you want. Don't worry about it. Downtown. I know you've got that. But you know what? As a, as a loyal listener, uh, whether we get along all the time or not, you told me something that really impressed me. You said that, man, you know, you listen to the advertisers and you didn't know nothing about 345 Mailbox Inc. <laughs> and you needed something. And, and, and you call them and they say, hey, we got it. And you went on down there and you got great service. Is that what that's you told me? Up. Nah, that's not what I told you, but it was close, though. Actually, what I told you was better. They didn't have it. Okay. But they got it. As a result of the phone conversation, so that's even better. That's good customer service, man. Mm -hmm. so I was, I appreciate that. I really do. All right, go ahead, sir. Three forty-five mailbox thing. Go ahead, brother. That's all the compliment I got for you today, Art. Okay. Okay, sir. All right, cool. <laughs> the um, the downtown area expanded economically in a way that Cleveland hadn't seen in almost fifty years under his watch. The municipal bonds that were floated for the for the upward development of Cleveland Clinic. Um, which employs a whole lot of people that live in Cleveland and a whole lot of black people that don't live in Cleveland that might um, have lived in Cleveland at some point but work down there. And the reality of the um, situation with the crime in the city is that even if you improve the police force, that just that just dilutes the pe detours the people that will, com will commit crimes as a result of not being having the consequence of being shot by the police or being prosecuted. They still want to commit crimes. You get, it's hard to get rid of people's desire to do something. You might be able to get rid of their desire to suffer the consequences, but it's hard to get rid of people's desire to do something like that. And the best way to do that is to structure better families. And that's just not on Mayor Jackson, man. It's not going. It's not on any mayor. It's not. I mean, you suppose he's supposed to provide a better environment, economic environment for the city, but he has done so under his watch. Now you got to be. You got to be qualified to get the jobs. And get the and get the money to get the homes to improve the neighborhoods. So so uh, the the economic environment as well as the environment uh, uh, in the inner city has improved under Frank Jackson. Is that what you told me? What I said was downtown. No, I know about downtown, but you went. You, I, 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 I agree. I, I agree with you. Part. Listen, I agree with you on that part. But you also said the environment and 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 the economics uh, of the inner city. Uh, has improved under Frank Jackson. To some degree, it has. John Hay. Uh, all right, give me John an example. Hay is an exa what? John Hay is a taxpayer-funded neighborhood public school in the city, in the inner city, and that school, as okay, far as right. public schools okay, go, right. is a very good place for kids uh, uh, to go. All right, to all right, and it was funded by whom? The city of Cleveland. Taxpayers, right? The city of Cleveland. Wait a minute, didn't the, didn't the city of Cleveland go to the taxpayers and ask them uh, for a levy increase, and that's how they got the school? Correct. All right, that so so it was through the people, right? And who was mayor? Okay, all right, all right, I understand. I, okay, all right. So, but but the people had to approve it, right? Yeah. All, all right. So 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 what are you saying? I'm saying that the dude's not a snake a snake charmer. He's a, he's a public official 
that's limited in his ability to get things done correctly. Let, let, and in, and come on, yeah, whatever you do, just uh, we, Todd. We um, this is a this is a common thing you do. You take a small portion, like you, and you. No, because you, you've done this before. You take a small portion and you make it represent the entire picture. There's a saying, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The few you refer to are the people downtown. The people are the residents, the majority of people within the inner city. You keep referring to a small portion of people and it doesn't represent the needs of the many. What most I'm of doing most of is hold on one last I thing. Ten more talking specifics. I don't try to use specifics to apply to apply to the general population unless it does apply to the general population. But you cannot discount the value of all those people being employed by the Cleveland Clinic. You cannot discount the value of John Hay a uh, inner city school or the expansion who, of economic who, development who's, who's in downtown. Count? And let who, me add this, this I gotta go. Let me just add this one last thing. Go ahead, sir. And Ward 1, which is the Cleveland Ward that I care the most about, Whitney Young is in construction. Kennedy, the new Kennedy is on the way. And although Ward 1 has some serious problems oh, with crime itself, oh, okay. it's on the down slope. All right, all right, you talked about the buildings. Okay, I like that. You talked about the building. Let me ask you this question. Have, have the educational system with the children improved uh, under, the, uh, under the leadership of Mayor Jackson in the last 12 years? Yes. 